Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm just going to share with you how do I create my artwork quickly and turn them into sales. Because we do all know that we wanted to close that deal as much as possible so it will convert into sales. And sometimes it takes a while because whenever you're creating a artwork, there's a lot of revisions. And we do all know that we need to satisfy our customers with a good quality of artwork at the same time you know work quick in terms of doing revisions as you can see i have three artworks right here and what's the similarities of the artworks i know they're all dubai artworks or uae artworks but there's a similarity among them which is the burj khalifa this ones they're all similar in all of the artworks that i have and what else the train the train is not here on the other one and then the burj al arab with the two artworks so because nowadays um i'm trying to create a lot of artworks that resonates uae it's because of uae national day coming up so to make my life easier i i usually create another layer from here layer from here and then just drag it onto my artwork that i'm doing right now like for example i will give you one for example like this ones as you can see my artwork right here they're all in separate i don't merge them all together so probably i can use it like icons later on so here i'll take this and then I'll make another A4 size artwork, A4 size artwork. And boom, it's right here. So if I just wanted to add like the colors, things like that, it will be easy for me to uh, finish quickly my artwork. If for example, the customer wants to change the colors, the customers that doesn't want the shape or the view, but I can just resize it or probably I can just change the colors from here depending on what kind of artwork that I'm doing. Is it like color colorful artworks? So yeah. Second is uh, what I learned is from, for example, from Google or Safari. What I do is I wanted to copy this kind of orientation like the bird. I'll just like, you know, copy it. And then I will paste it here in my Procreate. So it's easy for me. Allow paste. And there you have it. But of course, we don't want to have any copyright. So as much as possible, we can just trace it. You know, never ever do copyright. Because you're stealing someone's artwork, it's not that good. It's not good. You might get yourself in trouble or they probably might sue you. So um, as much as I can, just trace it like that. Change the colors, you know change the color like what's uh what's your color palette with with that artwork like never ever steal in one's artwork it's haram <laughs> i feel like it's haram not less if they give you rights you know like in free pick free pick it has a lot of assets that can help you with your artworks it has psd files vectors and then at the same time they give you per day like three free artworks or you know icons and even videos you just need to put like by pre-pick or like that in the captions if you're going to post it anyways so what i usually do if i need a human like walking in the artwork or if i want like a bride or even though i want it like a uh, something like something like an artwork that it takes me time to do it but since i need to do it like i want to put it on the artwork i usually find it here like for example female who are studying 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 and then i will look for download as much as possible try to get something like vector art so the quality is good Anyways, all of the all of the artworks here for sure, they are high quality. And then I will just open the zip file and then open it in my AI. 
And then this lady here, I'll just grab her. <laughs> I'll grab her. Sorry for the term. Anyways, okay. Uh, for example, I will just grab her because I want her in my artwork. I'll just grab her like that. Put another one here in another uh, artboard. And then she's here. Probably, probably I'll just change the color. You know, her colors. Or probably I'll just do it on my Procreate. As much as possible, we're going to export it with PNG file without background. Sample. Export. Okay, high quality kada and transparent. Make sure it's transparent so you will not having a hard time later on to delete it. Uh, sorry, I'm just going to transfer it on my iPad. Just go into transfer it on my iPad. So the good thing about Apple, like everything is sync when whenever your devices are sync in, even the quality itself it retains. As much as possible, try to upload everything in your iCloud or probably in your hard drive so you have backup files as well. So it's right here already. So I'm just going to insert a photo and then insert it. There you go. And the artwork is right over here. And then the good part about it is just you can also try to color it here. There. See, it's easy. There. And then if you wanted to add some texture so it looks like it's your artwork, kida. It's very easy. So yeah, Procreate is very helpful and useful to use it if you wanted to create some artworks for your clients or for your business. So now we did three things already. One is like icons or the artworks that you have from your past artworks that you had. Second is like copy and paste from like PNG files from Google. So you have something like a guide how to draw it. Like for example, like the eagle that we did or humans walking or the hands orientation. And the third part is the uh, downloading artworks from Freepik and then sending it PNG file to your Procreate and also we just launched a new product which is the wedding planner or the bridal planner I know I did this on purpose like print the back cover here print the back cover and put it here in front as a cover the front cover itself why it's because I'm trying to market it with our logo like WizardWorks things like that here but yeah so in the front cover, you can add your name here or the date that you're going to get married. And then afterwards, you can add here the name of the groom and your name and the date here. And then afterwards, we have like checklist. So there's a lot of bunch of interesting stuff that we have here. Wedding venue comparison makeup artist comparison, wedding shops comparison, even shoes we do have it here. Important dates, important dates, some wedding dress styles, you know, if you wanted to ha find some guide, which type of dress that you wanted to wear on your big day. And even Grooming tips for grooms and wedding veil guides. So we have lots of bunch of stuff here on our wedding planner. So if you guys are interested, kindly check the link below. And we even have like a bridal set box for your soon to be wedding, inshallah, or your friend's wedding if you wanted to give them. So yeah, that's all for today. And thank you so much guys for watching. And I wish you all the best with your business.